Hey guys, Paradoxio here. Welcome back to a brand new video, everybody. Today, I'm going to show you how we can secure and store our Discord bots token using .env. Now, uh, I want to apologize for not uh, doing this in episode one, or at the very least two. I realize it would have been very useful and uh, very good to include a tutorial like this in episode one as just like an extra step that we can take. But at the time, it didn't really cross my mind up until recently when I started getting requests on showing people how to set up .env with their Discord bot. So again, I do apologize about that. But the good news is all it takes is at most four lines of code. So it's very easy. It's a very simple, uh, straightforward process to get your Discord bot set up with .env. Now, uh, before we get started, let's talk about why you might use .env. Well, as you know, your Discord bot has its own special token. And the thing with that is, if that token ever gets leaked, somebody could actually use it to hack your bot and inject their own code in it. And of course, that's not good. We wouldn't want that to happen with our Discord bot that we all worked very hard on developing. So, what can remedy this? Well, of course, using a .env file can actually hide our token so that way, if we ever want to share our code, nobody will be able to see it. Uh, you also might want to use this for any API keys that your uh, Discord bot needs to log into any APIs or make any API requests, whether it's Reddit, Twitter, YouTube, etc. Uh, all of that is also very sensitive data that you do not want to just be out there. So you could also put that in a .env file too. Same thing if uh, your leveling system for your bot is actually being used on a MySQL database, uh, that requires a IP address to the server and also a username and password through PHP MyAdmin uh, in order to actually access that data. So therefore you would really want to st uh, store that stuff in a .env file. So that way, whenever you want to share your bot's code, again, nobody would see any of that kind of stuff. But enough rambling, let's go ahead and get started. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our command terminal. Um, you can do that just by typing in the, or clicking the window plus R key and then typing in CMD. Or you could just right click on your bot's directory and click open an integrated terminal. And then just typing in pip install python-env and just like that our .env package is successfully installed now at the top of our code we are going to type in from .env import load.env and we're also going to want to import os which i've already done up here because i have something else that uses it as well so we're going to be importing two things today, OS and uh, load.env from just.env. After that, we need to actually make our .env file that's going to store our token. So uh, we're going to right click, click on new file, and I'm, do I'm going to do this in the same directory as my main.py file. If you rather uh, store your .env file somewhere else, that's perfectly fine. Uh, just for the simplicity of this video, I'm just going to do it here. And we can give it a name. And you can call it token.env. Uh, I usually name mine just .env, just for simplicity. But also because I have a lot of my API keys and stuff stored in one singular file. If you do give it a name, it can be very useful. Uh, if you have multiple versions of your .env file that can contain different keys and such. If you'd like to keep track of that kind of stuff. So that's a useful tip right there. But now I'm going to copy and paste my bot's token inside that .env file, and I'm just going to remove the strings there. Now, uh, to do this, we're going to give our token a name, and we can just call it token. And then we're going to set it equal to, well, our bot's Discord token, or our Discord bot's token, sorry. And notice how I didn't include the quotations to uh, specify that as a string. Well, we don't need to do that in a .env, because we're going to do that later in Python. And another neat thing about .env is you can have multiple different uh, things, multiple different pieces of information. So if I want to put an API key, I could just type in API key, set it equal to 
whatever your API key is. So you can have multiple different things inside of one singular .env file, which is very nice. But after that, inside our Python file, we are now going to type in load.env. And inside here is going to be the file path for our env file, which is just .env for my case. And after that, uh, we are going to type in token in all caps and then colon type string. And then we're going to set it equal to os.getenv token. And that is all we need to do. And let me see if I actually, okay, it's imported correctly. All right, there we go. But after that, we are actually done. And now we can just copy that token in all caps and just chuck it into where our uh, raw token was eventually, whether it's in your bot.start function or your bot.run. But after that, we can go ahead and run our code. And we see that our bot is online. And just to prove it to you, I will go to my test server and see that my bot is indeed online and running. And we can just test out with a level command. Boom, works perfectly. So that's all you need to do uh, to secure and store your bot's token. Now, again, you might do this if you ever wanna share your code on something like GitHub, for example, where you can just put your .env file into git ignore. So that way, whenever you upload all your files, that .env file is skipped and never uploaded. So that way, on the user's end, your Discord token or your Discord bot token and maybe your other API keys are all hidden. Uh, so that's about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I apologize for not including this into part one. Uh, this isn't going to be a part 10. It's just going to be like a spin-off tutorial of that series. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to join my Discord server and create an account on my official website. Uh, both of those will be in the description. And uh, other than that, you guys leave a comment, a like, and subscribe. And with that all out of the way, you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.